Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here for you guys. I use the brand new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration palette right here. This palette had so much hype behind it and I'm so excited I snagged one up because they sold out in like 40 minutes. Of course, it's Jaclyn Hill, what do you expect? This palette is so beautiful, so bomb, gorgeous. So I created this look right here. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Just go ahead and hit the button now so you don't forget. And if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get started. I did go ahead and already do my base and everything, and my lids are already primed and set, so we can just go ahead and jump into this palette here. So for my first transition shade, I'm gonna jump in with this shade right here. It's just perfect for my skin tone for a transition shade, and just put that right into the crease. I'm not gonna be super precise with this first shade, just wherever it goes is where it goes. I'm just gonna blow it out a bit and just lay it where it will. Okay, and then with a little bit more of a dense brush so I can be a little bit more precise, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm basically going to do the same thing, but just be a little bit more precise with this shade. So I'm going to pick up this nice, dark, burgundy shade in the palette. I'm going to create a halo eye with that. So basically with the halo eye, what you do is you make everything smoky almost, except for the center of your lid. This is a really pigmented shade. Wow. And actually since I already did my face makeup, so what I'm going to do before I go all in with this look, I'm going to grab my powder here and just grab this oddly shaped um, straight looking brush. I'm going to dip into that and I'm just going to create this nice little wing almost with this powder. I'm just going to put it all under the eye like that. And what this is going to do is if I have a lot of fallout or anything, this is just going to make it super easy just to sweep away instead of messing up the makeup that I already have on my face. So going back in with the palette, I'm gonna go back in with that shade. I'm going to put that into the outer corner here and just pat that in nicely. And now I'm gonna get a little bit and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner as well. It's okay if you get, I'm trying to leave the middle of the lid space blank, but it's okay if you know, it gets a little messy and you did get stuff on it because we are just going to cover it up anyway, so it's all right. So I'm going to do that number right there and I'm going to grab a more dome shaped little brush. I'm going to pick up some products on that and I'm just going to sweep it and connect them. Deepen it up a little bit more out here. This color is so beautiful. Either. The pigmentation in this palette is unreal. Because normally a shade like this that has this dark like red tones in it is so hard to formulate in a lab. It's hard to make it you know, not patchy and make it smooth and make it creamy, but they hit the nail on the head with this because this is amazing. I've never felt a shade like this as creamy as this and as blendable because it is gorgeous. So I'm going to back in with that first fluffy brush that we used, the one uh, that we put that first transition shade on, and I'm going to grab this shade right here. And this is going to help me to blend our crease a little bit, make sure that we have no harsh lines going on. Everything looks nice and smooth and pretty. So now for my lid shade, I'm first going to apply some hydrocortisone to the center of my lids because that is how I always apply 
uh, shimmer shades. It makes them just pop that extra more, intensifies them, and makes them almost look metallic too. That's what I like in my shimmer shadows. If you don't want them that intense, then skip this step. I'm going to put on the center of the lid this shade right here. And when you swatch this shade, it has, it's pink, but it's got like a gold reflex in it. It's very pretty, it's iridescent, and it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to put that in the center of the lid. Just pack it on. Wow, that is pretty. Wow. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea what kind of look I was going for when I picked up this palette because there's so many that came to mind. So I was like, you know, what do I do? But this is, I'm glad I did this because this is beautiful. Okay, so now that the lid shade is on, since I feel, since we've lost um, some of that intensity on the inner and outer corner. I'm just gonna grab a little pencil brush, dip back into that deep burgundy shade that we put there, and I'm just going to pat it on here just to intensify it a little bit more, bring back some of that uh, pigment there. I'm also gonna use this to connect them up above as well. So I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush, pick up that same little neutral color that we used earlier to, to blend it out, and I'm going to do the same thing with a very light hand. I just want to make sure everything looks really nice and blended. Pick that, up that pencil brush once more and a little bit more of that deep shade. I'm just going to deepen up just a little bit in this crease here because I feel like this one isn't as deep as I would like it to be. So now I'm just going to pick up a little angled brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. It's like a dark brown, but it looks like it has a little bit of a purple undertone in it. And I'm going to use this as my liner today. I'm just going to press it in as close to my lash line as possible. I'm going to use this as my liner. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes real quick off camera and then I will come right back so that we can go ahead and finish off the eyes. Okay, so now to start on the lower lash line, I'm going to grab this little pencil brush here and I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which was the second shade that we put into our crease. I'm just going to smoke it out. And so basically I'm just going to mimic everything that we did in the crease and on the lid. So now with just this little uh, straight brush here, this is Morphe N432, I'm gonna dip into this dark shade right here that we put on our outer and inner corners. And I'm going to stamp that. Uh, I'm gonna leave the middle part of our lower lash line open, just like we did on our top part. So I'm gonna put it here. And over here, I'm going to do the same over here as well. So now I'm just going to pick up an even tinier little angle brush here and just spray that with some setting spray. I'm going to dip into that pretty pink shade that we put on our lids and tap it into the middle of the lower lash line. Okay, so it's not really popping the way that I had hoped that it would, so that's okay. So I'm just going to go back in with that bigger pencil brush that we used just a moment ago, and I'm just going to blend. Okay, so now I'm going to line my waterline with some black liner, and I'm just using the Marc Jacobs Highliner. I'm going to coat my lower lashes with some mascara, and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Original Voluminous Mascara to do that. All right, so now for the inner corner and brow bone highlight. Just going to grab this little detailed brush here, and I think I'm going to dip into this highlight shade right here. Oh, wow, that's really nice. Woo.
Okay, and this is the finished look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. And if you'd like to see more, do not forget to subscribe so you do not miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!